so with the new Miss Marvel trailer is here. We got a lot to talk about, including Captain Marvel 2 Easter eggs, her new powers that we gotta explain and break down, as well as the amount of comic book references that there are. Stay with me. So, first things first, one of my favorite Easter eggs is definitely the reference to Ant-Man in here. Except if you take a closer look at this one, he's wearing his comic accurate suit. This Easter egg in particular, combined with the Wasp, Valkyrie, and Captain Marvel shirt, does further confirm they are adapting her love of the Avengers and superheroes from the comics. This is Zoe Zimmer. She is the school bully in the comics, and here she is adapted all the same. This guy here is Bruno Corelli, who knows Miss Marvel as Kamala Khan and would cover for her when she needed to go do superheroing. He is also a genius intellect, so we might get to see that come into play a few times throughout the series. This guy is Kamran from the comics. After being exposed to Terrigen Mist, he did get his biokinetic charges. He is a bad guy who used the interest that Kamala had in him against her, so watch out for him. So they are changing her powers. She won't have the abilities to stretch anymore, simply to fabricate and produce energy instead from these gauntlets. My guess is the change of powers comes from wanting to differentiate from Mr. Fantastic, who is being introduced into the MCU very soon. One of my favorite shots from the trailer is we see Miss Marvel using her powers to create massive hands going to ground pound someone or something, so her powers are very similar to what they are in the comics. The poster of Captain Marvel in Kamala Khan's bedroom is ripped straight from the mighty Captain Marvel comic cover. Hey, you made it this far. You might as well subscribe if you're new to Brain Rodders, as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one as well. God bless. On Kamala's wall here, you can see the comic accurate lightning bolt that would inspire the symbol that goes on her chest later on. Circle Q is the convenience store that is getting blown up. It's also the same convenience store from the Miss Marvel comics that Bruno works at and acts as Miss Marvel's hideout. I'm guessing the following scene here takes place in the back of the store. The government organization in this show is not S.W.O.R.D. It's actually an organization called NICE. N-I-C-E. Not a lot is known about NICE, only that they are equivalent to S.W.O.R.D. or S.H.I.E.L.D. It looks like later we see them fighting Miss Marvel, so they will be antagonists for the show, or one of them at least. Later in the trailer, we get our first look at Red Dagger, who is a hero from the Marvel comics, but might be a villain as he's fighting Kamala Khan. I think it's likely he will start off as a villain, and then we'll find common ground with Kamala as the series goes on, and as such, the shots we see of Kamala with the comic accurate scarf are only by herself. So, my thoughts are that Red Dagger will die a hero by the end of the season, and she'll wear his red bandana as her scarf to honor him. This shot here does recreate the comic accurate cover for Miss Marvel. Otherwise, the series will likely end on a note that leads into the Marvel's movie, which is Captain Marvel 2. I think it would be really crazy to see Captain Marvel in the post credit scene, but I think it's more likely that we will see Monica Rambeau come and collect Miss Marvel to join her at S.W.O.R.D. and set both those characters in place for their roles in the Marvel's movie. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, subscribe for more. We got tons of content coming your way, especially in the upcoming weeks with Moon Knight. Subscribe, take care, and God bless.